cook. understand our philosophy. I don't know if I understand it. Do we read it? What is your philosophy? and dogs are also born. They also live, they also die. So if we live like that, I was born, let me live somewhere and die. Then what is the difference? No. No, there is difference. That one should understand. There is difference. A man should not live like cats and dogs because he has got a mission. 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 That mission is God-realization. Cats and dogs cannot be. Human being can be. Therefore, in any civilized human society, there is a type of religion. Maybe Christianism or Mahavadanism or Hinduism or Buddhism, there is. But you cannot find this religious system in the animal life. That is the difference. So if we give up this religious concept, God comes, then we are as good as person. That is the only difference. You go anywhere, any part of the world, civilized human being, they have got a system which we may call religion or philosophy to understand God. That priority is specially for the human. And if you do not care for that special priority, then you are as good as anyone. What is the difference between a new life? Human being, unless he has got some method of understanding God. The animal eats. We also eat. The animal sleeps, we also sleep. The animal has sexual type roles, we have got also. They, they are also afraid of something, we are also afraid of something. Then what is the difference? Well, God. But that is the difference. A human being can understand what is God, what is my relationship with God, what is my duty in that relationship, what is my aim of life, where I shall go after death, where from I have come. 
these constants must be there in human form of life. Otherwise, he is still in the animal kingdom. Do the animals have no consciousness? Eh? Do the animals have no consciousness? No, no, they have no God consciousness. They do not know what is God. Just like children, uh, they do not know what is government. They are satisfied with their eating, sleeping, playing, just like they have no other purpose. But when one is grown up, he knows what is government. He has to abide by the state laws. Now you are grown up, he too violates the law, kick to the right, he will be criminal. But a, a child, if he violates the law, anyone violates the law, he has no But he, if an adult person violates the law, he will be criminal. He cannot say, I am free. No, the law is not excused. But if a children commit something, then suppose you, if you take something from my table, it is for you criminal. But if a child takes something from my table, it is not criminal. In your country especially, if you enter my house or room without permission, that is criminal, is it not? Trespass. Yes. But a child, a dog enters, there is not trespass. A child or a dog or a cat, they enter without any permission. Therefore, this animal kingdom and a human kingdom, there is difference. By evolutionary process we come to the human form of life. When we are animals, we are animals also. We are passing through eight million four hundred thousand forms of life. From aquatic to plants, trees, then insect, then flies, then birds, then bees, then uncivilized human beings, jungle, then you come to this alien form, civilized form, human being. So it is obtained after many, many transmigrations. And if we do not understand the responsibility, just like in a in an establishment, one man is promoted. He first joins as a doorkeeper and then he gradually is given promotion. He may come to the post of the manager, just like in bank it's so happy. They must go through all the different stages of service. So when he becomes manager, if he does not know the responsibility, but again he comes to the Lord's Again he has to strive for going up. So if we forget our responsibility and become like cats and dogs, then we are going back again to take the form of cats and dogs. This is a great science. Nobody is very serious to understand the science, but the science is there. We are our Krishna consciousness movement is to educate people about the science. They are neglecting the science. That means 
they are violating the prerogative or the chance or the facility of human being. After all, we have to die. We cannot check it. But if you die like cats and dogs, then our life is quiet. And if you die like a human being, then our life is perfect. Everyone will die. But one who dies like a human being, by understanding what is God, what is my relationship with Him, how I have acted in relationship with God, then our life is perfect. So you like this philosophy or not? Somehow I always thought that people should be more like animals because animals only, uh, they only take what Why they need. Why don't you become like animals? Hmm? Why are you dressing yourself? Why don't you uh, wander like animals? Like a... No, but animals um, still have their own communities and they only take what they need to eat and they only eat when they need to eat. Now the philosophy is how to become animal. This is the philosophy of the Today, Today's people sometimes, Prabhupada, she's thinking, are worse than animal. Yes, if, they, if their philosophy is to become animal, then they must be worse than animal, because actually they are not animal. That's what I mean. That's right. That's right. If the ultimate goal is uh, to become animal, so that is artificial. So a human being desiring to become animal must be worse than animal, because animal has got some <laughs> routine work. <laughs> because, uh... Just like cats and dogs, they have sexual desire in certain period of the year. The man, although he is trying to be animal, but he has no restriction. He has sexual desire any time. Then therefore he is worse than any. Man eats and kills everything. Yes. The animals kill just their own quota. Oh yes. So therefore, if a man wants to become animal, he becomes more worse than animal. A tiger, a tiger eats meat, and he has got. Uh, equipments in his body, it's got nails, teeth, immediately punch up on any animal and kills any. But a man cannot do that. But his teeth is different. He has no nails. Therefore he has to kill animal in different way by slaughter. So he is worse than animal. You kill one animal for your eating purpose, this is one thing. But if you keep slaughterhouse for business, then you have more dangerous. Therefore, for a human being to try to become animal is worse than that. And because just like you are now grown up, if you imitate that I want to become child, so I enter anyone's house, uh, the law will not allow it. If you say that my philosophy is to become a child, therefore I enter this man's house, the law will say, all right. First of all, you will be punished. <laughs> you cannot say that. 
Because you are grown up, you cannot act as a child. Similarly, because you are human being, if you act as an animal, you will be responsible for your act. And you will be punished if you do something wrong. You cannot say, now I am I have my I made my philosophy to become a child. That may be your personal philosophy, but law is not allowed. Ignorance is no excuse. It has become a philosophy now to become like animal. You say back to nature. Back to nature means, first of all, your nature is different from others' nature. The animal can lie down anywhere on the street. Can you do that? So how can you go back to nature like that? <coughs> A dog lying down on the street. Here, of course, every dog has got a master. In India, there are many dogs that those have got master. So they are eating anywhere or lying down. <coughs> you cannot do so. If you lie down on the street at night, perhaps you will be arrested. Is it not? Yes. yes. Okay. Neither you can do so. You must have an apartment. Maybe a less costly apartment. But because you are human being, you must have an apartment. So how you can go to the nature? Even in days, and the rishis used to live in the jungle. They had a cottage, not like animals. They had hermitage, cottage to live. The child Rupa Goswami's picture you have seen. Yes. So they left their luxurious residence as ministers. But when they went to Vrindavan, they had a cottage. The impulse is more or less a reaction to their, their alienation from material life. <clears throat> they feel so alienated for artificial material life that they think maybe a simply more, uh, what they think animalistic would be more desirable. The inclination may be right, but the spiritual education is lacking. They don't have the teacher. Yes. That is the defect of what I'm saying. Well, they go to college and they can start. This is where the idea started. Got bigger and bigger and bigger and now it's got out of control. It's terrible. It's all pervasive. To live like, you know, I suppose I live like. Particularly want to or like to. I don't kill animals. <laughs> vegetarian? No, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's vegetarian. Well, vegetarians are not animals. <laughs> <laughs> In India, you still will find 90 percent of the population <coughs> that is vegetarian, strictly. All they are quite healthy, they are working. Rather, 
vegetarian is a human being. Because vegetable, that food is meant for human beings. That is natural. For a human being to become non-vegetarian is unnatural. And to become vegetarian, that is natural. Just like our teeth, it is meant for cutting vegetables, fruit, not meat. You will find cutting by this teeth uh, means it will be difficult. But to take any vegetable, any fruit, you can easily cut. And medical law says that anything eatable which you cannot cut with the teeth and smash it properly, it will not be digested. So fruits and vegetables you can properly cut, even raw, not, not to speak of cooked, raw vegetables, raw fruits, you can cut with the teeth and smash it and you swallow, it will be nicely digested. You get all food values. But you cannot do in that, that way raw meat. You cannot take raw meat or bite one animal and take some flesh out of it. You cannot do that. But the animal can do that. They are meant for that purpose. But that is natural. If you take your natural food, if you live naturally, if you fulfill your natural desires, then it is natural. And as soon as you go against these things, that is unnatural. So if you give up your natural tendencies as human being and take artificially the way of life of an animal, that is not natural. In the human society, the have an uncivilized human being, there is the process of covering this private part. Even in jungle, they cover with the bark of tree. Why? That is human. But animal in the jungle, they do not go. They can go. They say, <coughs> jungle, I don't speak <coughs> of the city life. Even in jungle life, the aborigines still have got some common. Now they are becoming naked, natural life, nudism. Eh? Mm. That John Lennon, he has a picture in his <laughs> sitting room, standing naked. This is madness. This is not natural life. If you go against your natural life, that is madness. Just like a madman walks in the street naked. So these are <clears throat> so our mission is to advise everyone, educate everyone, to become exactly like human. That you can be done by understanding God. The books, educational institutions are meant for human beings, for knowledge. All the books all over the world, they are not meant for cats and dogs. They are meant for human beings. 
the schools, colleges, universities, institutions, they are meant for human beings, not for the cats and dogs. So we must take advantage of these books, institutions, knowledge, teachers, that is real human life. Just like your guitar, oh, yes. that is for human being, art, not for the cats and dogs. Who can go to anyone like that is not possible? How do you know your father? Oh, I'm very. <laughs> I'm very. How do you know your real father? How do you know he is your father who you met? They just told me. Who told you? <laughs> My father. <laughs> Somebody told you. The mother told you, or somebody told you, yeah. and you accepted me. Similarly, about God, you have to take information from somebody who is authorized to tell you about God. Everything is known, can be known, from authorized source of knowledge. A child does not know what is this. He asks father, Father, what is this? The father explains, My dear boy, this is <coughs> dicked up one. When I speak, it is a call. Child knows, this is this. That is the way of knowledge. If you do not know God, you must approach a person who knows God. Then you know. There is no difficulty. When I went to church, I still don't know. He went to church and he could not find out. They told that may be. I didn't feel it. Uh, that may be. But you may be cheated. That is another thing. Suppose you ask something from somebody. Uh, if he cheats you, that may be your mistake or his. But the process is the same. You cannot doubt it. If you want to know God, then you have to go to a person who knows God. You might have gone to a person who does not know. That is another thing. You went to a wrong person. But actually if you want to know God, you must have to go to a person who knows God. That you have to search for. That requires intelligence. That you cannot give up the idea because you have been cheated or you could not get information. Therefore you cannot give up that business. You have to find out somebody else. But because you say, I have been cheated, I, I could not get the right information, I stop this business. Uh, that is not allowed. You must. Therefore, according to Vedic order, it is said, tadvikānārtamsa gurumeva avigacchet. Avigacchet means he must go to a person to understand that science of God, we must go to a guru or a man who knows. Guru means who is more intelligent. Guru means weight, heavy, heavier, the heavier in knowledge. So you have to find out a person who is heavier than you, not ordinary. 
a must go. Not that you may go or may not go. No, must go. Tat vidyanatham sa guru meva avigache. And what is the symptom of guru? Srotriyam means he has heard about God from his superior, his guru, Srotriyam. And how can I know <coughs> that he has heard from his superior about God? He might say that, yes, I have heard, but what symptoms? I say, Brahmanistam. Brahmanistam means he has become a complete devotee of God. Result. Just like a man, a physician. A physician means he has attended the military college, passed the examination, and the result is that he is practicing as a physician. Not only passing will do, but he is actually passing and he is actually he has been practicing and he is curing patients. And therefore, you find out a physician here is a physician. It is not division. So, guru means one who knows God. How how we can I know that he knows God because he is making others to know God. Where is the degree? But if you go to a person who does not know God, well, that is your fault. If you go to a physician who is not actually a physician, a storekeeper, then that is your fault. You must have the intelligence who is a physician. That much intelligence we have got. <clears throat> we see a signboard, doctor such and such, MD, medical practice. Now you go there and you see their presence waiting for him for his treatment. He's giving medicine and they are being cured. So where is the difficulty? To find out the physician. There is no difficulty. So if one is serious to be cured of the disease, he must go to a physician. If he does not go to the physician, then how he can be cured? That's why like you have learned the guitar playing. Did you learn it alone or you learn it from somebody? Mainly by myself. Eh? Alone, mainly alone. Anyway, you have followed somebody at least. Yeah. Stand up. Oh, yeah. People I heard. Yeah. So that is the way of learning. What is God? But the main business is that one must know God. It is not that because I approached some person and he did not know, he could not give me the right knowledge of God. And then I give up this idea of knowing God. No. And that will not, that is not good for human life. No. Then you remain an animal. I might have been cheated, I might not have approached the proper person, but that does not mean I can stop that idea. That is not. The another place it is said, the smart gurum prapadita jigyasu seyautamam. One who is actually inquisitive to understand the highest benefit of life, he must approach a guru. 
तस्मा गुरु प्रबुद्धता जिज्ञासु जिज्ञासु मीन्स इनक्विजिटिव श्रेय द हैस्ट बेनिफिट ऑफ लाइफ उत्तम हैस्ट तस्मा गुरु प्रबुद्धेत जिज्ञासु श्रेय उत्तम शाब्दी परे च निस्नातम क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ सच पर्सन शाब्दी परे च निस्नातम ही इज कम्प्लीटली वेल भास्ट इन द ट्रांसेंडेंटल साइंस एंड वट इज दिंटम दैट ही इज वेल भास्ट ब्रह्मणी उपसमाज स्वयं ही हेज टेकन सेल्टर ब्रह्म Krishna, God, Upasama, finishing all material desires. These, these two things. He is a devotee, but he has no any material desires. He must be well versed in the science. He must be a devotee, and he has no attraction for material. These three things, if you can find, then it's perfect. Good. Everything is there in the Shastra. Therefore, books should be consulted. Uh, if you have no books, those are discussing books. You should approach them. You should hear them. Just like we are holding class, morning, evening. People can come here, take advantage of what you are speaking. Then gradually you can understand. But we cannot avoid that. That is not a good idea. If I say that I went to church, I am not very much enlightened. Therefore I give up this idea. No, that's not. I chanted on the street. You chanted? Hare Krishna. Thank you for coming. Very good. We want to get some some symbols. symbols. You say Hare Krishna on the airplane. Huh? You're chanting on the airplane? Yeah. Oh, it was fun. You can chant anywhere. Basically. There is no restriction. There is no. Special rules and regulations. You can chant anywhere convenient. Whenever you find it convenient, you can chant. We were singing Hare Krishna. So that's nice. Go on singing. <laughs> yes, go on singing, and everything will be revealed within yourself. It is so nice. It's a comforting feeling. Huh? It's a comforting feeling just from the whole repetition. Yeah. yeah. So go on chanting. Then everything will be all right. And I, whenever sense. you find opportunity, you come and join with us. Don't have any symbol for selling. Not at the moment. So you can keep some stock. Yes, we've been waiting for shipment. We haven't arrived. Or well, you can give him loan. He gives answers. You can give him this small one. Mm-hmm. It does. Thank you. 
Everything you have to learn from a guru. <laughs> In part, how to play. Yes, one, two, three. Boy, that's a nice girl. Sit down together whenever you find time. One, two, three, play and Hare Krishna. Chant.